Here I've got my EF Russian commercial EFA 2K holster, my Bulgarian Makarov, and it's in condition three. So it's got a loaded mag in the gun, no round in the chamber, safety's on. Locked hammer, locked slide, locked trigger. Now watch this. Welcome to Millsert Minutes. I'm Nick. Today we have an interesting accessory to discuss. The EFA 2K holster for the Makarov pistol. Although it's believed by many that it was designed to be used by the Russian Spetsnaz, I must admit that the information surrounding its origin may be questionable at best. Nevertheless, let's dive into the functionality of this holster. The concept of this holster is to enable users to transition from condition three, which is pistol and holster with a loaded magazine, an empty chamber, the hammer down, and the safety engaged to a ready to shoot state rapidly. This is achieved by a unique method of instead of pulling, drawing the pistol up and out of the holster, you push it down and through, which simultaneously disengages the safety and loads the pistol. Now I'm gonna bring the camera over here and so I can show you guys the pistol and holster up close and how it functions. The holster features a fairly cle clever design with a spring steel ridge here that keeps the pistol in a ready position while keeping the safety engaged. As you push the pistol forward and down, the safety makes contact with this angled surface that catches the safety and disengages and un disengages the safety and unlocks the slide. But then pushing it forward, it pushes against the wall of the holster that eventually gives way to it, allowing it to go freely and lets you continue with your quick draw. I personally tested this with an IJ70 commercial Russian Makarov, and it worked perfectly fine, so you don't have to worry about the rear sight getting caught. However, it's worth noting that the holster may cause somewhere on the gun's bluing, as evident by the worn down area on mine. Made of durable black polymer, the holster exhibits longevity and strength. It offers the ability to adjust your draw angle with these different screw holes here, located on the back side of it. Additionally, there's an ejection port cut into the holster to prevent double feeds and provide an outlet for a round already in the chamber. Similar holsters with comparable construction and features are available on the Russian commercial market, such as the EFA-3, which is designed solely for a push-down loading of the Makarov. The EFA-G17 holster, tailored for the Glock 17, functions in the same way as the EFA-3 does. There's also what looks to be an a Glock version of the EFA 2K that allows push through loading. However, all I could find out about it was this picture. Regarding the claim that this holster was used by Spetsnaz soldiers, I couldn't find sufficient evidence to support it. There is one version that I could find pictures of that looks like what I believe a military model would look like, as you can see here. It's possible that such assertions stem from its appearance on the Spike TV show Deadliest Warrior in the late 2000s. This popular depiction may have captured the imagination of many, including myself, leading to a desire to acquire this holster. However, I must emphasize that I personally view it as a novelty item, albeit an intriguing one, evoking nostalgia from my younger years. Safety-wise, I consider this holster relatively unsafe as it increases the risk of a negligent discharge with an expo exposed trigger guard. But if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend it because it's just such a neat piece of kit. It's a real conversation piece with if you've ever got the Makarov out on the range. But that being said, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.